That's a little sugar. <laughs> Lose our eyesight, to get our limbs cut off, to have strokes, heart attacks. But I done put my family in the ground from this this thing called diabetes. Type one, type two, you name it. Here, 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 everywhere was the diabetes. My mother's living room was like a shooting gallery. Everybody, said, girl, you see what happened on the young and the rest? You see what happened on the let them make some fried chicken. I'm like, you know what? And you know, and I want to talk to the women. I want to talk to the women. And you know, we love y'all, but we buy y'all up on your side. I want to talk to my sisters because you know how you are. You will take care of the past. You will take care of this church. You'll take care of these babies. You'll take care of the band. You'll take care of the, the, your job, the people that you will take care of your ex-husband's new wife, baby, or the baby in there over here, and she ain't got a babysitter before you go and see if I get your blood sugar check, before you go see if I get your, your your high blood pressure check. You will stand up in the kitchen, find 400 pounds of chicken, lay it going numb. And then you want to run into the doctor's office, I'm like, oh Lord, please don't let him. Then you call from the Lord. Oh Lord, please don't let him cut off my leg. I know I ate up some chicken. I know I ate up some deep fried fry. I know I ate up some Kool-Aid and some soda. Listen, we can make a conscious decision and a choice. Well, every time, my mother used to say, every time your elbow bend, your mouth fly over. Uh, and your mouth lined up with some chicken. And I know what I'm talking about. You guys remember me from television. Y'all know I was Sister Two Tongue Cassie. I was, they call, I, in the name of Jesus, they called me Sister Two Booty. I went to go get ready to go up on the stage and had to wait there for a couple minutes. What you waiting on, mother? Where's my book to show up? <laughs> you know, you got too many. We got to stop saying this. In our community, we don't have a weight issue like some folk do in their community. We don't have that, well, we're morbidly obese or we're fat or we're, we would, look, I was fluffy. I was pleasingly plump. I was juicy. I walked into the doctor's office, he said, look, mother love you, better do something about that weight. Because you know longevity it don't run in your family. We are dropping dead at an alarming rate. Let me just give you some personal statistics. My father dropped dead at 31. My brother at 39. My baby sister, I just put her in the ground at 53. My older sister at 51. My mother at 59. Notice I ain't say 60, 70. I ain't, we don't even get to them. We don't, and this is under our control. We cannot blame this on the government. We can't blame this on white people. We can't blame this on, we got to take responsibility. We have to make our PhD, our personal health decisions. It is up to you. You can make a decision about what you're going to put on your plate. You can make a decision about how much you're gonna eat, when you're gonna eat. Now, I'm not gonna stand up here and lie and tell you managing diabetes is an easy thing. I will not tell you that. I wouldn't wish this off on my worst enemy. Could you imagine Mother Love having a worst enemy? <laughs> I wouldn't wish this off on anybody. I would not wish this off on anybody. And what I'm saying to you this morning, church, you can make a controlled decision about what you can do. Yes. You know, when we get diagnosed with diabetes, they say, oh, you run to the doctor's office, where you got it? You lose some weight, eat right, and exercise. But well, what does that mean? Eat right what? Eat what? And then they say, oh, you can't eat this and you can't eat that. You can't have this, you can't have that. You just have to eat air. Just let's make air sandwich. Well, I don't know how to eat no air, but I tell you, I can make a macaroni and cheese that will not elevate your blood sugar. I can make you a sugar free piece and I ain't gonna tell you sugar free because you're not gonna believe me. I know how to, I had to change my attitude. The first thing is attitude. It's attitude. And I'm gonna tell you, oh, most of us don't believe that we should be in good health. Most of us, well, you know, I just got a little sugar. I have the pressure, and I'm having a stroke, and I'm, look, I don't want to have none of that. Excuse me, they call it disease for a reason. It's dis-ease. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I want you to look fabulous and pretty. I love shoes. I don't want to have my feet cut off. My sister had her leg amputated at 44 years old. I'm laying in the hospital bed with her. Then at, I think she was like 40, 50, they cut off the front of her other feet. This was her, her negative attitude. Well, now I don't have to get a good cure. <laughs> Attitude is everything. I don't even have toenails, church. I got toe dots. You know, when an Asian lady tells you she paint your toes, she say paint your toenails is like painting rice. Well, I want to keep my little rice toenail. He think I'm playing. Look, I'm going to show you my sister. Look, I got toe dots. When you see a toenail on there, I got a toe dot. And I'm trying to keep all 10 of these pieces apart. 
I don't want to go blind. We have four grandchildren. I want to see them grow up. I want to see you grow up. I want to see you make an informed, concerted effort to take care of yourself. Everybody can exercise the gym. And I don't like the gym. I don't know where the people been. They all sweaty. They smell funny. I don't want to be in the gym. Exercise is clean vacuum in the church. Long as you move. Exercise is getting out in your garden, digging up some dirt. Exercise is walking to the store. Exercise is getting up, moving your body. Exercise is praise dancing. You got to move that body. You got to work that body. What did God say? Without a vision, my people will perish. I did not. He telling me what to tell y'all. This ain't me, because I was just trying to be cute and fat. But he gave me an assignment. And I've got lost 111 pounds. See, I didn't want to lose all that when I was waking up in the morning trying to figure out how come my pants don't button and I'm the go to button them up and the pants button popping off. I'm about to put my son's out, about to kill my husband. I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm deep frying everything I could put on the menu and standing up there thinking about what I'm going to cook for dinner. I haven't even eaten breakfast. And you're expecting breakfast with sausage and bacon and eggs and breakfast is what it's called, break your fast. You're not supposed to eat for 12 hours your last meal. Right. I'm, I'm, and I, got to, I know I got to go, I got to go, but I got to tell, I got to tell you, I got to tell you. I'm just gonna give you a couple tips about how you can make a difference, how you can make your PhD. Take your plate, not that big giant plate. You know how they come to the breakfast pack, and they got two plates. Uh -huh. yes, Can't even hardly walk, feet don't swollen up like loaves of bread. Put that down, take your time and eat. You know I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sit down, sit down and eat. Excuse me, and this is not a table when you sit down. It's not that, that thing in front of your car, that's not a table, it's called a dashboard. That seat over there is not called the kitchen. Sit down, take your time and eat. Don't eat and drink at the same time. Take your time, chew the food. Understand? And you ever watch me and eat? You know y'all don't. <laughs> My husband would say, hey, that was good. I'm like, how did you tell? <laughs> you just in here for all the time you ate it. Good. Oh, that was good, honey. Take your time to eat. Make your plate look like a clock. Make it look at your plate like a clock. So from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, that's your green, yellow, pink, purple, red vegetables. Vegetables are not your enemy. Look, we could eat eggplant if you could eat a chicken, and I don't think you should ever eat anything to start with chick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's there's something wrong with y'all. So y'all know what it is. When I found out what a chicken was, and it's not chicken, we have the nerve to call it chitterling. <laughs> Properly, chitterling. I don't think we're supposed to eat farming inside. That, that's just me. Mom noises, that's another thing you shouldn't be eating. If you can, baking is better than, baking is better than baking, grilling, boiling, steaming. You don't have to fry anything. Do you know everything that God created for us, for the human body to consume? You can pull it off the tree, out the ground, yeah. ranch it off, that's what the old folks say, ranch it off, go on, ranch it off, and you can eat it, you can eat it raw. Right. You can eat potatoes raw, you can eat eggplant raw, you can eat right. greens raw, yeah, and y'all put the greens till it ain't even green no more. <laughs> If you all wet and bush, you don't have not nary a supplement left in. It's all squishy. And see, I'm talking like this because Thanksgiving is coming up. Yeah. And we want to sit down and gorge out. But you can do it in a healthy manner. Yeah. You don't have to eat up everything on the menu, but thank you for calling me. Yeah. Make that plate look like a clock from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. That's your green vegetables. Make sure you eat something green, yellow, red, purple every day. You know, bell peppers are God's little vacuum cleaner for the inside. Trust me, I know. Eat a bell pepper. Remember when you were growing up, they said, we're going to have stuffed bell peppers. Like, eat that. Your mother and your grandmother knew what they were talking about. Let's go back to the what we, used to, what we know to do. We don't have to eat scraps off the table. We can go into the supermarket. You don't have to go to the, you know, shop off the, the, through the grocery store. Shop on the periphery. And then from, oh, let me get back to the clock. From 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, that's your green vegetables. From 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock, that's your protein. Whether it's your chicken, your fish, your lean cuts of meat. Make it the size of your hand. And trust me, when you take these steps and you sit down and you take